What's up, Hank? Notice anything different about me, Jake? Yes, you're wearing your glasses. Which means no one pushing me around today. I'm super smart. All right, if you're so smart, what's the first appearance of Kingpin? That would be Amazing Spider-Man, Carry the Nine, it's a Tuesday, Amazing Spider-Man 50. You're correct. What's the first appearance of Moon Knigget? Oh, Jake, you mean Moon Knight. You're looking for she's 32. All right, I'm impressed. What's the first Thanos solo story? Running Man, no. Logan's Run, issue six. All right, what's two plus two? Four. And what happened to Bruce Wayne's parents? Oh, Jake. Bruce Wayne doesn't have parents. He was hatched from an egg. <sighs> like Mork. Rolling. Oh, crap. Hold up. The biggest book this week is Avengers Standoff Assault on Pleasant Hill Alpha. It's leading into Civil War II. If you're reading Marvel books, you gotta check it out. A big fan of Peter Milligan for comics like Shades of Changing Man, and this week he's back with a new image comic called The Discipline Number One. It's sexy, it's sexy, turn up your sexy level to 11 out of 10, then multiply that times two, because it's sexier than that, and that's how sexy and creepy this book is. Professor Hank, good at math. We got the Bendis and Pacelli Spider-Man number two, which is Miles Morales' own solo book. We've also got plenty of number one, so if you want to jump in, you still can. The Star Wars, the original trilogy, a graphic novel, is out this week. This is not the original Marvel comics that adapted the first trilogy, but this is a newer, more manga take for younger readers or older readers of the original episode four, five, and six Star Wars films. Spider-Man's teaming up with one of his best friends, Silk, and the Amazing Spider-Man and Silk, the Spider-Fly Effect. <laughs> see, see what they did there, man? It's like Butterfly Effect, but like Spider-Fly Effect. DC Bombshells Volume 1 is out this week. This is one of the more interesting things at DC recently. It's kind of steampunky. It's kind of 1950s. It's kind of lesbian friendly. It's an excellent female romp female romp, I can't say that. It's an excellent female action adventure comic featuring all your DC favorites. Mark Wade and Chris Samney are bringing Black Widow back in her own new series, Black Widow number one. Vampirella is back this week with Dynamite Comics number one, and if you like outfit changes, then this is the comic for you. For those who love coloring, especially when in between the lines, DC is bringing you the first four issues of the Batman Hush series in black and white so you can color. You also have colored pencils. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one takes your favorite storyline, that's the one where Tommy was evil, and does kind of a sequel to it. It is definitely the best Power Rangers comic ever. Yes. We got a bunch of toys this week, and one of the coolest toys is this super cool two pack of Batman and Superman from Dark Knight Returns. Miracle Man is back. Now you're probably saying, Hank, Miracle Man's been coming out for a while. Well, this is the start of the storyline that was never finished. So this is the Miracle Man by Gaiman and Buckingham. So you, this is a great jumping on place, or you can, if you follow for where this starts, you can finally see the end to the storyline from over 20 years ago. I heard Neil Gaiman's pretty good at writing comics. I've heard of him. All right. We've also got a lot of pops this week. We've got the Wilson Fist pop from Daredevil, as well as the Superman, Aquaman, and Superman Soldier from the upcoming Batman vs. Superman. Now I'm gonna stumble my words because I have to pronounce a bunch of obscure Star Wars characters, like Vermic. I think that was the name of uh, the character from that 70s show. Admiral Akbar and Sidar Iatho, Ethano. Ethano. Yep, one of those. You know what this was? <laughs> it was a trap. <laughs> oh, it's a trap. We've also got the full set of all of the Bob's Burgers Pops. And for those of you who like banks, we've got the Batman 1966 Batmobile Vinyl Bank. Doctor Who Pops are back, featuring some of your new favorites and some of your old favorites. From the new series, you got Captain Jack and Rose Tyler. And for and the silence, that's the character that you can't really see because he's in the, the back of your eye. 
And from the original series, you got Sarah Jane, my favorite companion. Can you hear the silence? No, see, that's the thing. I don't think they have anything to do with noise. They're just like, they're in peripheral vision. I gotta watch that show. Hey kids, follow me on Twitter. That's at NerdHaikuReview. And go to the website, NerdHaikuReview.com. Check out reviews of comics and haikus. And shows with haikus. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Henry and I rewatched episode seven, and all I did was every time he was on screen, I was like, it's a trap. Also, did I mention it's a trap? Okay, of all the fan service that movie did, why could they, he not have said it's a trap? I know, right? Like, shenanigans. That would, that, I don't think it would have been grown worthy. And, Rowley. <laughs> nice glasses. What's up, Professor Hank? Mm, can we try that again? Yeah, sure. Alright. What's up, man? No, is anything different about me? Yeah, you're wearing your glasses. Which means... You're really smart. You're not going to be able to boss me around today because I'm really smart. Alright, if you're so smart, what's the first appearance of Kingpin? Spider-Man 50. Alright, what's the first appearance? Oh, crap. Running, no. Logan's Run, issue 6. Alright, what's 10 times 3? 33. You're pretty close, but I do acknowledge that you know your stuff. Okay, we, so, we did yeah. math, killed it. <laughs> no, no math, just... <laughs>